Welcome back to Vlog 4. If you don't know us already, we're Harry and Nikki, and last month we finished our 17-seater minibus camper van conversion in order to take it across Europe this summer. In this vlog, we're taking you with us from the Algarve of Portugal to sunny South Spain, where we find the most beautiful spot right on the beach. And we travel slightly more inland into the sticks to find this huge peaceful lake where we spent the night wild camping. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Now let's get on with the video. Hola, señorita. Hola. Oh. Here goes the cucumber. So, where are we and what are we doing? So, we are at a place called Praia de Felicia. It is in the Algarve, down south of Portugal. It is stunning. And I do want to quickly add, Hannah and Henry shouted out this place to us. They messaged us it and recommended it, so shout out to them yes, for that. Praia Appreciate that. We literally just had a weekend at one of Harry's parents' friend's house. They really treated us, gave us loads of food and drink and it was amazing. Um, so we've just got here, we've just parked up at a little spot. This is just a day spot, we can't park here night. It has an amazing view literally of the beach. We're right on the cliff of the beach here and then just a little walk down the hill and we're literally at the beach. So it's a beach day for us. Just making some sandwiches to have on the beach. And yeah, we'll catch up with you later, probably in the sea. So see you at the playa. Sunshine, I want rain, I want love, I want the pain Cheer me up, go say my name, cause it don't feel the same When you're not around, the feelings come out I wish I could say, but I figured it out Got my head in the clouds, when I'm feeling down Now that I'm Okay guys, so welcome to our campsite for the night. We ended up staying in this campsite that was just five minutes drive away from the beach. We obviously parked up by the beach yesterday but couldn't stay over there, stay there overnight because wild camping is banned in Portugal. So we moved to here yesterday evening. But yeah, the campsite itself is it's a nice campsite. It's big, it's got a fair few facilities. It was nine euros for one night, which is a decent amount for a campsite, but still obviously we can't wait to get to Spain so we don't have to pay for that stuff so we can just wild camp for free. We also made some burgers last night, by the way, which were buen appetito, and they were delicious, um, but yeah. We were just saying like how crazy it is that our bill last night for our sangria was the same amount of money as like our whole little shop for our food for the next like five days. Yeah. It's crazy how much money you can save doing it like yourself. Without boozing. Like, yeah, but that's not happening. <laughs> but yeah, we will uh, see you near the border on the way to Spain. But yeah, I think we're going to stop one more night in Portugal. So see you at that park up, I think. Just proving that we do actually look after our baby. We give him all the things he needs. Any of you plant mums worrying about whether we can do it or not? There you go. Our plans have changed. What's happening, Kaz? So basically, we rocked up at that park tonight. Um, not that we didn't get an amazing vibe, but it just, yeah, it wasn't the best vibe we've ever been to, like, not dodgy or anything, but yeah, just nothing special really. There were no showers on the beach and stuff like that, so we've just decided, what have we decided Nick? We've decided to go straight into Spain. Um, there's like this beautiful uh, place called Isla de Canela, or Playa Isla de Canela, um, and we just think it might be better there, maybe safer, well not even safer, it's, it's no fine. It's not even about the safety, it's about the wild camping law they've brought in Portugal, it just makes it a bit awkward to park in car parks like that because you never know whether you're just going to get fined or not. We're just going to hotline it in Spain now, 25 minute drive from here, and uh, find a nice little park up on the beach there, I think we've already found one to park tonight, so I guess we'll check in there. Yeah, so. my arm is about to fall off, so we'll stop it there. Vamos a la España! <laughs> Vamos! as much as you can and then steer in again. So our van is literally here, parked up for the night, and this is the beach. Bin's there, shower there, and the sea is obviously right there. Pub down there for the game tonight. This is literally perfect. Like we are happier here. I'm so glad we moved. Yeah, so am I. Lucky. You can't beat this, can you? Wow. I might get my flippers out, you know. <laughs> Your flippers? Yeah. Good morning. 
Morning. How are you? Fresh to Daisy, how are you? Yeah, not bad. How did you sleep? Not so bad, not so good. It wasn't great, wasn't it? It's quite hot in here. It's just so hot. Overnight, but yeah, um, it's quite early now. It's, it's 10 o'clock. It's uh, not early. <laughs> Well, no, but we're an hour ahead body clock wise because we just moved from Portugal to Spain, obviously. So yeah. it's actually nine o'clock. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. quite knackered. We've got minimal sleep. So we are probably going to wake ourselves up by having some brekkie and then maybe going for a swim or something. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe a cappuccino. Maybe a cappuccino. Thank you. Have you I don't think so. It's literally five minutes later, and I've decided I want to go for a dip to wake me up. We just got so hot last night. So I'm gonna go for a little swim and then we can have some breakfast. So brekkie brekkie now? What for swim? No breakfast first? No, swim <laughs> first. Harry okay. keeps wanting this brekkie now, but we're going for a swim. Alright. Come on. Okay, here we go. You had a nice little morning swim? Yeah. And now I'm nice and cool, so it's not too hot. Mm -hmm. I'm loving life right now. Nice little morning so far. It's been so nice. I love sitting out and having breakfast outside as well. What have you decided, babe? Oh. Um, <laughs> I have made the unanimous decision. Executive decision. Executive decision, it's not unanimous. Um, <laughs> that, yeah, we were going to go to another beach spot, but we thought, you know what? We've done a bit of beaching now for a couple of days. We're going to go a bit more inland. On the way to Seville, there's a nice little um, forest thing on the park for now, which means it's quite like a quiet spot. It's by like a river, so it looks quite nice there. So I think we're going to head there. Um, yeah, little, probably can't see anything, but... Uh, it's not focusing on, so... Yeah, it's focused. Nice! So yeah, it just looks like a nice little quiet spot down there. So we're going to head there, chill out there for the afternoon, maybe do some editing, and if we feel nice and safe there, we'll stay there overnight. And if not, we might move to a uh, bigger bigger spot. Cool. Sorry, I'm just so busy. Let's go, shall we? So popular. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, vamos. Vamos a la playa. Oh no, a la river. Vamos a la river. <laughs> Got the basics. Got the basics. And let's go to our little spot. Wow, that is a spot, isn't it? So we have finally reached our park spot. We're going to stay here for the night and it is stunning. We'll show you some footage of it now. Like, it's crazy. It's just these amazing. Is it rivers or lakes? It's lakes, I think, little natural lakes. They're stunning, they're blue waters. It took a lot to get here because it was so hilly and so rocky. I thought our van was gonna tip over and I thought that was it. Mm. But we got here. But fortunately, we've got one other camp next to us, which is yeah. really nice, one Dutch family, Dutch, yeah. which makes us feel really like safe and secure, even though we're out yeah. in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, I think the plan for today is just to <laughs> chill for a bit, have some lunch, some toasties, yeah. and then edit and yeah, uh, get, have a dip in the water and chill out. Yeah, I've got a rubber ring that I can't wait to put in the water. <laughs> so, we'll see you on the rubber ring, maybe. Yeah, see you later.
what has happened, babe? That's really random. Ones that you're really it wasn't dark. even anything. It wasn't even anything bad. We just thought we were in trouble for the first time. It's the first time we've like seen the police out here. We got a bit. And they didn't speak very well, good English, did yeah. they? So they just asked for our passports straight away. And they literally just came and checked us for our passports. Asked, they said took actually some, took some details off our car, but yeah. then they said we're fine to park it. And for took the pictures night. of it. And took pictures of it. So we were like, oh, we're in trouble. We're getting a fine. But it turns out they're just doing like security in the area, seeing who's in the area. I think numbers for COVID or something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He can't be very good English, but he's saying security. Didn't really explain much, but you know. Whatever. We might ask the other people here what they've said to them yeah and ask the spanish guy because he probably speaks better he's probably getting more conversation out of him yeah you never know it might be something weird because there was a helicopter just earlier wasn't there babe it might be in the middle of some big time shit fuck <laughs> <I'm mad. laughs> yeah and in discretion and i start to question everything me on the cheek, what does it mean? Maybe step aside failed in the 90s. Now I'm looking like Kramer and my Nikes. Yeah, with the heart attack. Okay, guys, so that's all for this week. If you have any suggestions of places to visit in South Spain or anywhere else on our route, then please comment them below. We really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to get notified of our next vlog, which is out early next week. Where we'll be exploring some of the bigger cities of the south coast of Spain. If you haven't already, make sure you follow us on Instagram at The Van Vicious Project to keep more up to date with our journey. See you next week.